All right, so today we are going to be looking at the eigenvalues slash vectors of the poly y matrix. I previously made a video on the eigenvalues vectors of the poly matrices, but for some reason I did not include any work on doing the uh, poly y matrix. So that's what we're doing today, just as a quick sort of addendum to rectify that situation, if you will. So of course we start off with the poly y matrix, which as we all know is zero negative i i zero. So then to find the uh, eigenvalues, of course we need to solve the equation a minus lambda i equals zero, where lambda are the eigenvalues and a is the matrix, and this is the determinant. So we have this determinant of negative lambda negative i i negative lambda equals zero. From here, we can get our characteristic polynomial. So we uh, get the determinant, which is this minus this. So we have negative lambda, negative lambda. I'll just write it out for, and then we have minus, we have i, and we have negative i. This has to equal zero. So if I go up here, we have ooh, um, <clears throat> lambda squared, i times i is negative one. This becomes one. So we have uh, lambda squared minus one equals zero. So we have lambda squared equals one. So we have lambda equals um, plus or minus one. And of course, those are the eigenvalues if you remember from uh, these other Pauli matrices. So that's exactly what we would expect. Um, now let's go about actually uh, computing the eigenvectors from these eigenvalues. So to find these eigenvectors, all we have to do let me just make a new page actually, it is basically plug these eigenvalues back in and just solve everything. So we have, um, this is our poly matrix we're working with, and we have as of the other poly matrices, eigenvalues of plus or minus one. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say, for each of these, we plug it in to this uh, equation we saw here, um, and we want to make it true for some uh, vector, right? So uh, ideally, we'd have this, you know, a x equals, you know, e for e eigenvalue, I guess, e x. Um, and so we want to find this x. So um, of course, we can just uh, put in our eigenvalues and go from there. Uh, as I did, of course, for the other matrices. So if we have this, for example, let's suppose we have, um, we're gonna be putting a positive one. So this is subtracting. So we have um, a minus lambda i. So we can uh, put negative i, i zero. Then we just, uh, oh, I don't know why I put a zero there. That should be a negative lambda. We have this um, times our eigenvector, and this should be zero. So we have some value x and y here. Uh, I don't know what's going on. So we have negative lambda x uh, minus i y, and um, I always just do this, you know, sort of by hand, if you will, but. Uh, in theory, this is just a system of equations. You can do like gauss jordan elimination, whatever. But uh, um, um, you can sort of solve it. But if we look at the first one, it's pretty clear what it has to be. So we have, um, if we just set one of them equal to one, just on a lucky guess, I guess. So we have negative lambda of x equals one minus i y. Or why did I put lambda? <laughs> We're saying lambda here is one. So lambda is one in these situations. Lambda is one. I don't know why I wrote lambda. So we have negative one minus uh, i y equals zero. So we want this to right here to be equal to uh, negative one. That way this will be a plus. So therefore we want y to equal i. So we have negative one minus i i equals zero, of course. And then that works out nicely. We have i minus i equals zero. So we can see the eigenvalue uh, one has eigenvectors one i. It's 
So now we can repeat this process for the uh, other eigenvalues. So we have lambda negative i, i lambda. So we see we have, yeah. oh my God, I don't know why I keep writing lambda. It's, uh, it's a specific value here. We have one, one, because lambda here equals negative one. So then we have x, y, and of course we can see that we have lambda. Oh my gosh, I keep writing lambda. <laughs> we have uh, one x minus i, y equals zero. So if x is equal to one, just on a lucky guess, right? We have one minus i lambda, or i, y, sorry, equals zero. So now we want this to be negative one. So we want y to equal negative i. So this would be, this would be, one right here and then we do one minus one we can also see that i x plus y equals zero if y equals negative i this is true so we can see that the um the eigenvalues and vectors for the poly y matrix are right here uh, oftentimes you'll see them uh like one i with a one over square root of two in front just to like normalize them. But keep in mind that the uh, the eigenvalues uh, and vectors, you can sort of multiply them by a constant, right? Like if we have um, one minus uh, i, we can also have one half minus, right? If, if suppose we just made one one half, then this would just be one half minus i times you know, one half i would be, you know, this like this would just cancel out and be true. Like these are sort of scale invariant, I guess, in the sense that these two have to be the same scale, but you, you can multiply them by a constant and, and it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick video on something that wasn't in the original.